Hi guys, we're back with sessions 46. And 46, we're still on assessment. Assessment from head to toe, part 2. And still, dearnurses.com, you will be able to find more helpful information. The topics for discussion are um, assessment of the patient with possible DVT, which is deep venous thrombosis, assessment of anasarca, renal failure, and assessment of the patient in liver failure. So let's get started. Here is a patient who's called a nurse and said, Nurse, I'm having a pain in my calf. But the nurse gives a very inappropriate response. She says, I'll take a look and see what you have ordered for pain. Well, pain may be caused by a number of variables. In this case, this patient is having pain because she was a surgical patient and she has been in bed for a long period of time, added to which fact she's not been very compliant with her TED hose and she's not also wanted to move her legs and she has possibly developed what is called deep vein thrombosis. So if you've got a patient complaining of calf pain after being in bed for a long period of time, suspect there might be other causes. And just bear in mind a blood clot from the circulation can go to the heart, to the lungs, and develop into what is called deep vein thrombosis. So be aware that it can be more than just the pain that you, the surgical pain that you attempt to take care of with pain medication. Now we've got anasarca. What exactly is it? It's called also generalized edema, and the causes are numerous. There are many causes of anasarca. It might be due to liver failure, it might be due to uh, heart failure or kidney failure. There is a lot more to learn on this topic and you'll find that on the screen I have given you a place where you can get more information on it. Some of the findings will be the patient is just very edematous. The edema is actually very pitting. If you press your finger into it, the finger impression stays there. You also have that patient has a propensity for skin breakdown, especially at the pressure points and you get serious drainage oozing through the skin because the skin has been so stretched. So I urge you to take a look at that uh, chapter for more information. Then we have got the patient in renal failure, and I know this is more common than you think of all age groups. What would you expect to find? Glen renal failure has numerous causes. Some of it is acute, some of it might be chronic. One thing is clear, it's not left untreated because those toxins will build up in the body, causing that patient to have a lot of discomfort, not just from swelling, mental confusion. These patients don't even know what they're doing anymore. They have a complete breakdown of their skin. You can tell it gets all sort of dry and um, the causes would be hypertension, sometimes trauma after a traumatic accident to the kidneys it might happen, and certain drugs like antibiotic therapy may result in renal failure. Now, like I said, some renal failure is temporary, some of it is permanent. Hemodialysis is usually done. There are other forms of dialysis as well, like um, pe uh, the one that they do strictly in the pelvis, can't think of the name, but uh, there are other forms of dialysis. And also bear in mind that there are other things that would be done for that patient. The doctor also changes the diet. The diet would have to be low in sodium, low in potassium, and there are just numerous things that if you follow the sequence closely, you'll see how much can be done for that patient. Now we have liver failure, and causes of liver failure would include alcohol ingestion, viral infections, there might be also certain drugs, tumors, and you. I have put in the right hand corner for you what looks like a healthy liver versus one that's not healthy, one that has cirrhosis. One thing is clear, this patient has a very distended abdomen, has jaundice, look at the skin, it's almost gold, the urinary output the same, the urinary output is tea color, usually it's very low, or he may not even have urine at all. And again, there is a lot to learn about the liver. I've left you information at the site at dearnurses.com. Simply take a look and you'll be happy to learn a lot more. Now, if you just stay posted again, we'll be more than happy to share more clinical information with you. Have a great week.